Hello everybody else. Uh, this is Figure Talk episode 77, I think. Uh, but, you know, the episode for me is not the most important thing. The most important thing is to bring you the, all the new stuff and all the information you require to judge if you would like to collect these figures a lot. Uh, certainly, uh, I will try to uh, do some uh, evaluations of any products uh, I'm doing but um, you know I will tell you some advantage and merits of these products and try to explain and let you have more or better understanding of what what you spend your money how you spend your money and is your figures and collection worth the price um, but actually I can tell you that most of the items here now in this decade you can buy from the market is worth the price Yes, I'm sure. Uh, just think about if you, if you spend your time and effort to make one of this one twelve scale, old man organ for yourself. How much money and time you have to spend on this, right? Am I right? Okay. Uh, this is Rhino of Toys TV, and this is Figure Talk episode seventy seven. This time we bring you Mexico one twelve scale uh, action figures, old man organ from yeah from Marvels. Um, for myself, this is uh, you know not a you know a typical hot kick of the market, but you can see the technique and the details and all the accessories, including in this package, is really good to have one if you are old man organ fans or with really friends. Uh, um, as you can see on the videos, these figures have a great coat, a pleather or leather great coat with him and you can see a very muscular body with him um, you will see this in the videos we ha didn't have the great clothes on the figures uh, with only the t-shirt okay you can see a very masculine body within this package but when I try to um, remove the t-shirt remove the t-shirt uh, this is very difficult because uh, in the factory they have already have something you know uh, to tight with the Keep of the figures. So if you want to remove the T-shirt from the figures, you have to you have to you have to prepare a scissor. So uh, it, it may not ruin or broken the the T-shirt or the figures, but uh, you know, I think this is the procedure for the factory or for Mexico to net the T-shirt. You know, not going ups and ups when during the transportation and you know, owing to other any other reasons. So it's good for them to do that to keep the shape and the form of the figures. Uh, but yeah, I think you you should you could have you could have removed the t-shirt to see the muscular body inside. And the second thing for this figure set is the very you know eye-catching baby of Hulk, the baby Hulk. Uh, yeah, as I'm not a fan of Marvel comic, um, you know because I'm not a US comic fan. And, uh, but you could see this is a baby hook and carried by Nogan. And this baby hook can be removed from the, from the backpack. But I have no hands here to remove it, but you can see the baby is moving inside the package. Besides the breather great coat, we have a detailed waist belt, not a metal metal buckle but a uh, very detailed buckle and you know the typical costume in the movies or in the comic certainly this special hands fits with the Wolverine typical iconic core and the fist
then remove the grey coat from the fingers and you can see the very muscular body inside you can see her, his left arm you know very big muscle muscle there and, uh, yeah, if I am the planner or designer of this project I might include a spare or second head scrub that is a yelling head scrub you know this is a typical iconic expressions of Wolverine or Old Man Ogans. and this is like a you know would, would like a uh, uh, fighting fighting head scrub but anyway it's already a very good figures and but uh, maybe the next version can include a yelling head scrub I hope Mexico guys is watching this video